Hello and welcome to another very short ATP geopolitics video just to prove I can do short videos. I'm just going to look really quickly at a video that a pro-Russian has sent me saying what do you say about this? This is an alleged video of Ukrainians filming themselves preparing grenades with chemical agents and this is just uh, a little, um, I don't know, a fake video 101 I guess. How not to make convincing uh, disinformation. Right, so first of all, chemical agents, right? Chemical agents are illegal. Chemical weapons are illegal in, in warfare against the Geneva Convention, etc., etc., etc. So if you are going to make them, you know that you are doing something that is illegal and that will have you up in the Hague if you, if you are found responsible. So if you are on a video where your voice can be recognized, that, that's just a weird thing to do. That's like saying, hey, here's a load of really, like, one of the most illegal things you can do in the world, and I'm going to implicate myself in that. Second point is, like, for further implication, why would you put your own flag on top of that? Like, why would you put a Ukrainian flag on top of a bunch of chemical, supposed chemical weapons? I, I, I don't get it. Right. You want to be proud of this. You want to be proud that you are creating chemical agents that, you know, are illegal and that would actually uh, make the international community pour scorn on you and stop giving weapons and money and humanitarian aid to you. Like if you were actually Ukrainian making these chemical weapons, this would be super secretive. So first of all, you wouldn't want to be filming it at all. Second of all, you wouldn't put a Ukrainian flag over the top of it. Just absolutely insane, right? So no right-minded human would do that. Okay, so here, here is a video. Every, everybody. So the idea that this guy is saying, hello, everybody, right? This is what I'm doing, right? No one would do that. No one would then cover it with the Ukrainian flag. This is like the worst disinformation ever. If you are, If you are this guy... If you're this guy and you actually think that this represents Ukrainian chemical weapons being made, then I'm sorry, you are the most gullible human being I know. Anyway, just to continue, right? So what happens is he, I'm just, he, he taught, I don't really know what he says and what language it is. Some, someone can let me know. Someone can, can watch this and let me know. But I'm going to turn it off. And there's music. It's probably a really famous Ukrainian song going because it's, it's like tick, tick, tick. And then showing all this, right? Who knows? What is that? Just literally, what is that? I mean, is it? Is it? Are they chemical weapons? I, I have no idea. Like, how can you prove that they are chemical weapons, even if you think this guy's a genuine Ukrainian pulling off a Ukrainian flag and saying, hello, everybody, look at the chemical weapons I've made, and I'm going to drop these with these drones next door. And I, it's so staged, it's absolutely unreal. And I'm going to drop these on, on Russian targets to implicate us in a war crime. Like, what, what, A, why would you do that? What, 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 what do, you, do you stand to gain from this? Uh, and B... You know, it whether you think this is disinformation or whether you think this is really Ukrainian, someone Ukrainian doing this, like, how can you prove that, that this is chemical, chemical weapon, weaponry? Like, well done, you're going into a fridge and or a freezer and checking a bunch of bottles out, and there you've got a bunch of stuff. Like, honestly. This guy's probably just got a bunch of prime bottles and cover them in tape. Like, whatever. Like the point is that this proves absolutely nothing. And actually, it, it is so. What you want to do here is is inference to the best explanation, but it's um you can do in probability analysis. You do something like a Bayesian uh, Bayesian analysis. I don't want to get too geeky, but but you'd have two competing hy hypotheses, and before even looking at any evidence. You would you would assess a probability. It's called a prior probability. So before we look at the evidence, what's the prior probability that that this is disinformation? That a claim about chemical agents is disinformation? Is it high? Are the Russians likely to do um, disinformation, or is this likely to be um, a, a Ukrainian filming themselves doing 
uh, making chemical <laughs> chemical weapons, right? So, uh, and then you know, before before we even look at the video, before we look at the video, what's the, and and I would say the prior probability that it is Russian disinformation is high, and in order to overcome a high prior probability. Uh, you have to have very, very good posterior probability, which is very good evidence. So then when you present the evidence, what, what is the actual hard evidence that this is a Ukrainian person definitely making uh, chemical weapons? And you say, actually, this is very low quality evidence. In fact, it's, it looks far more likely if I put that evidence together, it's such bad evidence as in it, it, it so looks like disinformation. So the competing hypotheses are this this is russian dis disinformation or this is ukrainians create, creating um uh, chemical weapons high prior probability that it is russian disinformation and then when when you look at the evidence it is actually the posterior evidence the posterior probability also supports the hypothesis that it's disinformation so when you get both of these components together you are rationally justified in thinking that this is Russian disinformation. And you are not rationally justified in thinking this is uh, some Ukrainian deciding it's a great idea to record themselves doing one of the worst crimes you can think of doing, you know, and certainly in terms of warfare. Like, uh, I don't know. Like, if you're going to present this to me and say, what do you say about this? Uh, this is uh, evidence that Ukrainians are creating chemical weapons. I would dismiss this almost out of hand like i've watched it uh, i before watching it i thought it's more likely to be russian disinformation and after watching it i think it's even more likely russian disinformation so i uh, dismiss this video uh, thank you